And just like that, we are falling into fall. Yes, it's my favorite time of year. And in today's video, I'm sharing some tips on how to level up your tablescape. I recently took a poll over on my community page and you guys were definitely interested in fall tablescape tips. So we're gonna do that today and stay tuned to the end of the video. I've got something special going on that I'm gonna share with you. The accent colors in our dining room are navy blue and so I thought it would be fun this year to try to incorporate some of those deep blues in with the traditional fall colors. So I ordered a couple of pieces from Amazon which I'll link below for you and I got started. To create a base down the center of the table, I used the blue cheesecloths and I layered uh, eucalyptus garland on top of those. Originally, I thought I was going to try to use those gold orbs in the center of the table, but you'll see later on in the video, I changed my mind. And that actually brings me to my first tip. Too much of a good theme can quickly ruin a table design. In this example, it's too much of the color blue, but whether you're using lots and lots of pumpkins on your table or gourds or pilgrim figurines, too many of them can become very overwhelming very quickly. So instead, find creative ways to incorporate the different sounds and scents and colors of the season as opposed to the day of Thanksgiving. So maybe that looks like you using apples or citrus fruits instead of pumpkins, or perhaps you'd use eucalyptus instead of pine cones, or some of the underused colors of the fall like burgundy and brown. And at this point, I'm just starting to layer my base with some different uh, colored stems on top of the eucalyptus. I put some twinkle lights in there, which you can easily turn off, but they really create some extra magic uh, on the table in the evening. And of course, some candles. It was right around this time that I started to realize that there was just too much blue. So I immediately removed the placemats and that one small adjustment made a huge impact on the table. So we were definitely headed in the right direction, but something still didn't feel right. So I removed the mercury glass orbs and I replaced them with an absolutely beautiful purple pumpkin. And what an impact it made right away. Just that small adjustment Another hint of color gave the table the balance that I was looking for. I also got rid of the black candlestick holders and replaced them with brass ones to even things out just a little bit more. Let's move on to tip number two, which is to avoid overcrowding your table and sky high centerpieces. Overcrowding the table simply makes guests feel like they have to fight for space. And that's certainly not what we want when we're trying to enjoy a dinner. Same holds true for a centerpiece. When it's too tall, it's just really hard to have a conversation across the table. It doesn't mean you can't use tall accents. As you can see here, I'm using very tall candles, but I've strategically placed them so that they're not cutting off the view from across the table from one side or another. And here's an extra gem that a lot of people don't think of. Try seating your left-handed guest at the end of the table or the left side of the table so that their elbows aren't bumping into the righties while they're trying to enjoy their dinner. And for the final tip of the day, a quick review on proper place settings. The easiest way to level up any dining experience is to make sure the settings are placed properly. Salad forks go outside of dinner forks on the left and spoons should be placed on the far right Outside of the knife, the knife's blade should be facing in towards the plate. And finally, your stemware should always be placed to the right of the plate. It should always be right above your knife and spoon with the water glass on the inside and the wine glass on the outside. So now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments section which colors you plan to use this season. And if you walked away from this video learning at least one new thing you didn't know. Okay, if you stuck around till the end, thank you. You get to see a little sneak peek right now literally as i'm sitting here editing this video i'm watching them build my dream pool <laughs> so i'm so excited uh that definitely means i won't be sharing much outdoor fall this year but we'll have plenty of fun inside the house so stay tuned as always love and peace